So we are here at a three bedroom, uh, two bath house, and it's been sitting vacant for six years. The lady died and her husband just couldn't handle it and moved away. So the poor kids are stuck with the, the remainder of it. Um, you can see it hasn't been used. So the only thing that's been in here is rats. And this is what rats do, is they eat little holes in it. I remember the first time that I, that I realized this, I picked up, I went into a cabinet, and I picked up a giant can of diced tomatoes or something, and I expected it to be heavy, and it was empty, and there wasn't a single ass hole. There was a tiny tooth mark on the top, just like that one, where where they sucked everything out. So I was like, wow, these guys literally eat anything. So you can tell that they've made nests in here. We just don't know where they're at yet. Um, hopefully the noise of all of us in here is running them off, but it's so sad. This is just such a beautiful historic house in a great neighborhood. Um, and it's just been neglected. We got a lot of termite damage, foundation issues. I just fell through the floor here on the bottom. So uh, we're going to be working here for the next couple days to get this cleaned out and ready to go. Yeah, I'm done after this one. All right. So there's a couple items the client wants to keep. Basically the same stuff that most clients want, like photographs, heirlooms, um, jewelry, things like that. So she knows where those are. So we can go pretty quickly in this room because there's um, nothing she wants in these rooms.
All right, this is the first room that we just knocked out. Me and one of the other workers, we just knocked this room out. We got the bags, waiting to load them up on the trailer. And uh, we can go in here. We done made ourselves a little walkway in here. We are trying to clear it out so we can get it, make easy travel through for the next upcoming days, like the second or third day. We got this house about your like size, a house this size and amount of trash, probably two to three days or three to four. If it's if we find like more problems like mold or you know sewage like that and they want us to fix it, stuff like that. But you guys gotta see this room. This is the craziest one. So this is, yes, this is the bedroom. Whew. We got a deep closet in here that we need to get to. We have multiple signs of rats in here. It's pretty gnarly in here. See that big old hole? You went clean through it. That's a rat. Yeah, that's definitely a rat. He tore up this book bag as well. Full of medicine and he ate everything in there. And this is the room I'm personally most excited for because you get to see all the different cool books and stuff like that. Because looking past the horde, sometimes you got to remember people did live here and these were people's memories. They just, you know, got out of hand. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm most excited to clean out this bookshelf to see all the hidden gems that they have because uh, most times in hordes, they have juicy books <laughs> or nice things that just, you know, you get too crowded sometimes, just get overwhelming. This is the office, I'm assuming. He needs extra oil that's next to it. Shit, we can see the floor. One more.
Hey guys, we are here for day two of our uh, level five horde. And uh, you can hear in the back, we have a giant piano that literally is so wet that the wood is so heavy, we're taking a ax to it to break it down, to get it out. Uh, yesterday, in one day, we had six tons of garbage that we loaded and took to the landfill. So uh, we're back for day two. I'm really hopeful that we can get it done today. Um, but, uh, we shall see. Hopefully everybody has a lot of energy and, uh, I feel great. So we're back today to get her done. Stay tuned. Oh, this one full. It's got the handles. Yeah, you sure? Yeah. Mattresses suck, man. We can get it out. There we go. Boom. There we go. Which way you want to go? That way?
Give me a minute. Well, Laura, I gotta tell you. Where is it? What? Walk it down with him. There you go. So I first started hoarding cleanup way back in 2005 and I was using dumpsters at the time. They were very unreliable and extremely expensive. So I wish I knew to get a dump trailer, my own, and I can take multiple loads at the same day and I never have to worry about them not showing up.
All right, this is Jason with Spalding Decon. We're just finishing up this three-day hoard that most of you have been watching us on. We have hauled out roughly 12 trailer loads of debris, which is about 27,000 pounds of trash. So you've seen the transformation as it, from beginning to end. Um, now we're just finishing up with our final touches. You can see the finished product now. Don't miss out on this amazing opportunity. Visit our website at spaldingdecon.com or give us a call at 866-99-DECON to learn more about becoming a franchisee. Let's build a brighter future together. Thank you for tuning in, everyone. Here's to a clean start with Spalding Decon. For more information, visit any of our locations. That's it, guys. On to the next.